Great. Looks like we're live. Hi hey guys, this is Ali. Me. This is Hell's Kitchen. This is a tier 23 run. I have 97 active. This is the run to get to 100 cards. Now I have all of the recipes, every single one that has been released as of December 1st, 2022. Um, and we're just going to see it all survive. So these 42 boxes outside all, are all of the ingredients. Uh, the only thing you will not see, if you're familiar with this game, is hamburger patties. Because I have to make my own. Technically, uh, making your own hamburger patty was a food card, so I took it. I have hamburgers, hot dogs, all the varieties of fish, all the varieties of steaks, pizzas, stir fries, all of the desserts, and all of the appetizers. Um, this has been a long journey. <laughs> I don't want to rename the restaurant, I just want to bring things in. It does give me two coffee machines. Um, one is for the affogato, which is coffee and vanilla ice cream. And the other one is just for the coffee recipe. But for some reason, it likes to give two coffee machines. I guess in case you want to automate coffee or affogato. Sadly, people don't seem to order desserts as much as I hope. It's kind of the only way you can make money. But I also have second helpings, which will cause the, the audience to order twice or order again. Yeah. So they might order two starters or they might order uh, two main dishes or they might order two desserts. There's a chance that one of the starter, main, or dessert will be ordered again. It seems like it always comes with starters. But hey, that's a little bit more coin. Um, as you can see, I only have <laughs> one group, and that's one customer per group. I did pack two things to bring with me, and that is an extra life and this mixer. Everything else, nothing else about this game has been modded. There, or nothing at all about this game has been modded. Put it that way. No modded maps, no modded cards, nothing. Just good old fashioned played up. Played in the way that it was released. <laughs> For, uh, if you're not familiar with the tiers, tier 23 means that this is the 24th time that this restaurant has been played and franchised or this is going to be the 24th franchise for now it's just at 23 meaning that i've made it through 23 times already Ugh. so many packages outside <laughs> so ignore me uh for a minute or come hang out say hi whatever we're just getting set up here we should have Two starter hobs and an oven pop up on, in these boxes. And then because of the franchise cards, I have more than one envelope outside. Um, once we get set up, I will do a quick rundown of all of the cards I have so far. I say quick, but it really is 97 cards. I have all of the sides. Like, there's nothing that I skimped on. I... Oh, that box just disappeared on me. That was weird. I hope it wasn't important. It does seem that... I don't know why, but it does seem that sometimes these boxes will spawn those starter hobs, and sometimes they won't. But that's the second time I've seen a box open and disappear. And I'm not sure if it's just because the boxes, as you can see, are, some of them are even spawning on top of each other. But... It just causes a little bit of a issue. However, everything seems to work out fine. We'll do a quick check. 
once we get set up to make sure we have everything and that nothing bugged out. Because if I am missing a starter crate at the beginning of this, then I it, that could just be a fail. <laughs> so probably pushing the game a little bit to its limits now. But it's been a fun and wild ride. Now, I did realize that after you get variety three times, it seems to have an issue with giving the variety card more than that. So I've played this map on two of the autumn updates and basically dropped the community card each time I've played through, but only keeping the mains that it gave me. So that's how I picked up all of the mains. Played it on the community run twice. You and drop the community card, you know, twice over. So we don't have groups coming in that are sizes of eight people with all 40 plus dishes. <laughs> with that being said, I also have the holiday recipes as turkey and nut look. Um, all of the pumpkin stuff too. So pumpkin pies, pumpkin seeds, and pumpkin soup as well as the cherry pies, baked potatoes, and all of the new recipes as of the turkey update. Like I said, as of December 1st, all the recipes that have been released are on this run. If anything else gets released from here for a minute, I, I don't know how to get it again. I don't know how long the autumn update is going to be available. And it was already... It was already high stress trying to get through the community maps or the autumn maps with this rest <laughs> these. I had to recruit some help on the latter days when I had tables of five all ordering different things. And because I have all the soups and all of the sides that include pot sides like mashed potatoes or broccoli, I have three pots that I can rotate through. After that, well, let's just say I have to clear things before. But it started me off with a composter bin, composter bin, which means I can burn it to remove it, which is not a bad idea. I've got hobs, so that's good. Work boots are free. I likely won't use those. Uh, wash basin is one of the variety or franchise cards, and so is grabber. However, once we get to the blueprint phase, again, this is just set up. Once we get to the blueprint phase, you'll see that some of the recipes will, or the blueprints will duplicate themselves. And every time I buy a standard blueprint, not a copy, but a standard blueprint, it will give me another blueprint in an envelope. So once I get these set up, by the stations in here, <laughs> I will then have space to finagle the blueprint situation. So, let's start off with a meat cooler. And I have learned that these are half blocks, so if you put them face to face against each other, it creates a bit of an alleyway that you can run through. Kinda cool. Condenses on space a little bit when you have so much. One thing that is fairly inevitable about this run is running around. That it can't be helped. There's not a, a true way around it. So I try and keep the ones that I use the most closer to center. So I would probably use the stake more than any all the others. Keep that one close by. The mustard and ketchup can stay in the dining room. Typically you would serve over counter. It may be cause a bit of an issue. I don't remember if I have Victorian standards on or not, so we'll figure it out as that develops. We'll start with fish next and make and make a meat corner, like a freezer co corner essentially. Throw the turkey up there. So all of the ingredients that I can just run and pick up and I don't have to worry about it. Fish filet, you do have to chop. Spiny fish, I'll have to throw away the trash anyway. But at least these I can just pick up and run away. 
And since fish is not guaranteed to be the same thing the day and the day after, it's better to have them kind of clustered if you can't automate it just yet. Anyone who's played played up before is probably very familiar with this run. I also wanted to note that I have this run as set to effect layout only, which means as people who've played this run before, or this particular seed, this map, would notice that on day four, you'd get four blueprint or uh, four research desk. This will not be the same. This seed will no longer be affected by the cards. It is just a big map so that I can get everything in. So I don't know what cards I'm going. I don't know what's going to drop outside when the time comes. I have no idea. We're on an adventure to find out. I'm going to make a soup station at that. And since we have a wash basin, we can sacrifice the actual sink just to a soup station. No problem on that. We'll even move that over and probably put beans beside that. So to start every day, I typically make one onion stock and then I would make one mashed potato and one loaf of bread for any of the starters as a base soup since there are five soups and they might not even want soup they could have pumpkin seeds or a uh, bread loaf as a starter but they might not even want soup I am missing onions Give me a second while I do a search. No. Uh, beans are fairly quick to make. I don't like to make them extra. Because of the way that they order soup, I, it might be that they went two different types of soup and I'd rather just throw the stock out than have to deal with it so much. I'd like to have the oil somewhat close to the sink. Mmm, close to the oil to make a quick mayonnaise, or salad dressing, essentially. Probably put that on that side. Be okay? I'll adjust this island and bring it forward a little bit. But for now, we're just figuring out where things go. <laughs> We have our wine for our red au jus for steak salt. And cherries probably can put up there because that's a one-time grab. And I can run and grab them while, if someone orders a cherry pie, I can grab them while the crust is cooking. Crust. So that should be good. Moving on, we've got stir fry. <laughs> that creates stir fry rice and carrots in a station. Meat's a little further up there, however, it's not the worst run. If I need to. If I need to do it, I can do it. There's going to be running no matter in this game, in this particular way, because of all the recipes. So we'll switch that and put a hob on the end there. We'll bring this one down, have a that there. We'll make a, an island for cooking supplies. Good. Yeah. We good? Apples are needed for Apple salad and apple pies. But I don't like to keep the boards too close to one or the other because boards are also now needed for the bread starter 
recipe. I typically like to keep them as a quick return. But if I have to make a run for it, it's not that worse. I'll go ahead and put salad up there. So that in case of apple salad, we'll have it as an access. Hmm. Okay. The nuts. Yeah, we'll do it like that. And I think I'll even put the onions on a side there. Just like that. I'm trying to pick up the rice and I'm having issue. No. Alright, so one of these coffee machines can just stay outside. I only need the one and I don't need all this. I need to figure out <laughs> enough about where to put things. I don't have to worry with two machines. We'll make a prep island, probably there. Move this down. Put a pizza station. Do bread here. He's next to that. I think I'll even push that up and switch these two. Yeah. And we'll put tomatoes next to the cheese. We we'll have a pizza station. We also need tomatoes for tomato soup. But that's not the worst. Like, that's not such, such a big deal. Put an island there. Island counter, however you want to call it. <laughs> the mushrooms are pretty frequently needed as well. For steaks, I can probably keep mushrooms and the tomatoes fairly close. Should be okay. The pumpkins here. Make it a corner, and I'll have the trash can that's outside in that corner there. All right. Throw that away. Olives. Burger buns and hot buns. Let's see. Can I move this about? There we go. I can keep these closer to the hobs in case I need to stop a burger or a hot dog from burning. So that should be a okay there. Put this on the other side. Oh, there we go. A little bit of bouncy run. I'll switch the salads like that. Okay. Okay. Hey. We'll work with that. We'll go with that. All right. So having, we'll see how many grabbers we get to see about the mustard ketchup situation. We'll buy the first grabber. We only get one. That's okay. 
So we've got a mixer for 45. I also have supplier error, which causes some blueprints to be super expensive, but also some blueprints to be crazy cheap. <laughs> Since it seems we have a, a grabber at the very least, I was hoping for two, but at the very least we have one. We will put the dishes to come back there and have the person sitting on the end. I will put mustard in... Hmm. I'll have to move this down by one. Yep. Bring this down. Alright, so the mustard will be here, or the ketchup will be here, the mustard will be on the other side. And as long as this is current, the table should pick up, be able to pick up ketchup as it is. And that one there. And we'll just have this chair off, in the hopes of getting another grabber eventually. Keep the one on the farthest from us. And I'll keep that door open in case anything goes wrong. That may need it. Alright. So even though I only need one booking desk, if it happens to give me another one, I will continue buying them. Because they are free, and because they give me more blueprints. Got on serving boards. I only need the one here. And that gave me two, but also a new blueprint. And that's work boots. For every blueprint that I have that's free is going to be what I'm going to be doing to, uh, with that. Because you, why not have options, right? Wash basin, apples. I'll put the plates Yeah, I'll put the plates closer to this. Should be all right for there. I know it's a bit of pinched areas and running around, but at this point in the game it's hard to avoid. <laughs> And put that in the corner. Dish rack. For free. Which, no, I don't need a dish rack with their wash basin. But again, it's a blueprints. So that's a portioner for free. That I will take. I'll put that up here because I I don't know if I'm gonna buy it just yet, but I will save it before the end of, or before the beginning of the, the day. I want to see what options I have first. Those are going to go outside. We've got a dumbwaiter for four dollars. If only the upgrade and teleporter would be the same. Okay, so that's a prep station for 45. Now that, these come in handy in this particular run. So that I'll probably keep and I'll probably buy that portioner outright. Work boots. And that leaves us with hot dogs, which you don't need to worry about. Alright. Put these outside. Buy that portioner as many times as it'll let me. And then we'll get started on the first day of the tier 23. Now I know in a lot of people playing played up. The gameplay is fairly quick because you're trying to turn the table over before the next customer comes in. This won't be an issue until about day 9. Just... Just the... Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> it it really just tries to frick trick me up around day 9 and 10 because of all the recipes having issues with each other from time to time. Alright, with that, all of the active cards go off the screen. Salad, steak, pizza, pies. Affordable is the type of restaurant I chose because at first it would help me get customers in and out the door. Um... But in the end, it turned into, if I could find breadsticks, it's kind of a game changer in this one. Because they think longer, so it gives me more prep time in between their meals, in between their entrees. We have meat soup. There's the first franchise, which was variety. Pumpkin pies, pumpkin soup, pumpkin seed, mushroom pizza, metal tables are offered regularly. Onion pizza, mushroom pie, black coffee, variety again. All you can eat, which means they can order twice. Vegetable pies, tomato soup, grabber. And the only time I took a purple card, purple card, which is a challenge card like this one, was times that it did not offer food. Apple pies, broccoli, onion rings, careful accounting, chips, variety again. Steak topping mushroom, cheese board, thick, thin cut steaks, preparation time, so I have a little bit of time to get things done before they come in, thick cut steaks, steak topping with tomato, Le leisurely eating, greatly in increases the customer's eating time, carrot soup, reincarnation, which is why I wanted to bring a heart along on this run, so if for any reason I mess up once during the day, that heart will regenerate at the end of the day. And as long as I don't mess up twice, the day, the next day will come in and that heart will respawn, essentially. Steak sauce, mushroom, mashed potatoes, salad toppings, which adds onions and olives. Wash basin as a franchise card. Closing time. They can arrive after, after closing time, which it, it seems like there's a 15-ish percent chance, give or take. When I do have one customer during the day, there's a chance that if they are not done by, by the time the sun's setting, there might be a customer program to come in shortly after. Which can be good. Also means that calling during the day is a little trickier. Ice cream, second helpings, which is not with the food, but rather with the blueprints. Corn on the cob, bone in steaks, steak sauce, red wine. Apple salad, potato salad, double helpings, so double orders of increased side, dessert, and starter. Coffee tables, affogato, broccoli cheese soup, double homework, which is what the grants and extra copy is what we just saw. Bread as a starter, roast potatoes, cherry pie, bootstrapping, which is why we started with uh, the work boots and the uh, dish rack, individual dining, advertising, and discounts. So I have one that gives me plus 50% more money, and discounts gives 25% less, whereas advertising is 25% more customers. Coupons, picky eaters, their plates might have trash on them after they're done eating, so I have to clear the trash, or the left over uh, before I can actually throw it in the sink. Health and safety, they are slowed by their messes. Simple cloth table is offered regularly. Empathy, their patience is hidden. Tipping culture, it means they pay based on their remaining patients. Stir fry, fish, prep fest, mandatory tips, fish fillet, prep fest eggs, loyal customer, prep fest beans, catalog, additional blueprint every day, Hot dogs, burgers, nut roast, supplier error, spiny fish, turkey, fish selection, which adds another fish crate. I have another one of those in here somewhere. Breakfast extras for tomatoes and mushroom on toast. His burgers, flower pots offered regularly. Crab cake, stir steak stir fry, savings, fresh patties, burger toppings, oysters. There's the other fish selection. High tech supplies. 
suppliers, hot dog with mustard, instant service, which means they come in and they shout what they want. I don't have to take their order. Sedate atmosphere. I walk slowly when I'm near customers, but it seems with the four block table, that does not affect the same. And the fact that I'm serving over a counter doesn't affect the same. Blindfolded chefs. My processes are hidden. Floor protectors. And I think that was, yeah, that was the most recent one. So the only franchise card I am missing is conveyors. I am curious what will happen at the end of this franchise once I reach 100 cards. So far there are 97 active. What happens when we hit a franchise at this point? Will it give me a choice of two franchise cards or will it only make me take conveyors? That's what we're here to find out. So everything looks to be in order. I start off with 50 extra gold. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the mixer. As why not? 45. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. I'll save it and see if I can get a research desk later on. Great. It's going to be a rough one either way we look at it. I could do two long islands rather. I could put the oil up there and have a mixer here. I could do it like that, sure. And for now, portion is act acting as an extra counter. All right. Let's do it. Starting with the stock. A potato, mashed potato, and bread. All oh, my flowers over there. I forgot about that run. I might have to fix that starting next game. So we'll put the soup there. We'll put the bread in the oven. Try and get that to go a little faster. Do they want pumpkin seeds? Right out of there. We'll put that up by the boards. Pumpkin seeds to start. <laughs> My cat decided to hear me and make an appearance. <laughs> okay, so we have a fillet with a side of onion rings. Go ahead and chop that guy up. Now that's gonna cook fairly f quickly. Yep. Put that on a plate. And we'll fry up these onion rings to add as a side. Voila! Order up. cat's been asleep for so long. <laughs> I didn't think that she would actually wake up. And now she's making her voice heard. Veggie pies with corn on the cob. Let's see if I can catch it before it. Yep. Before it goes. So, carrot, broccoli for veggie pie. Go. Veggie pie, side of corn. And see, that's the messy plate, picky eaters. You have to throw it away and then you can wash it. 
day one, just like that. Now it's 50 coin from one customer, which isn't bad considering. Research desk. How much does this cost? Four coin. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. And it gave me a copy of it. And another blueprint that's hiding underneath that. I'm looking at an autoplater, but I don't really know what I can autoplate up. I don't want to buy the prep station, but I'd rather upgrade the desk. So that's that's kind of the call there. <laughs> I could get the simple cloth table, but they don't combine. Hmm. See how much his hob is. Just to have some better hobs. It's 45. The cloth is 0. Autoplater, which is usually 20, is 188. I don't know why this game likes that number so much, but every once in a while I'll throw a curveball at you saying, that's 188. Something so random. Alright, so we're gonna move this flower. That'll block the path. Alright, I'll keep potatoes there, but I'd like to have flour closer to the water. Move that there. Yeah. That should be okay. don't know if I'm going to use it, but in case I have time to, I will keep the booking desk. I can call the last customer in, but with closing time, there's a chance that I could fail because of it, so it's a toss-up. Great. That broth going. Get those potatoes going. And get that bread going. I'll put that in the hob. If I can have time. I can call through the end of prep, get the extra four coin. Still waiting on that bread loaf, though. That's a copying desk. And they want tomato soup. Okay. I mean, they might not even want the bread at all. It's better to have it, because it takes a while to cook anyway. Alright, with that I will make another stock. In case they change their minds on soups. We'll go ahead and get the other call in. Alright, next order, tomato soup again. Perfect. Means we can throw this one away, since they can order twice, they already have. Jar to stock. Stock is sacred. We've got a spiny fish with mashed potatoes. Throw that away. That should be done. Yep. Like it should just take a second more. Mashed potatoes. 
means it messes up. Alright, and that's all I wanted. what we've got outside. Let's see how much this desk is. 90. Okay. Not so bad. It gave us flour. I don't know if we need another batch of flour. I don't have room to do a lot of automation as it shows. But we will see what that happens. Don't mind buying a cheap coffee table on the off chance that someone does come to visit us at weird hours. Oh look, another flower. And this dining table is also 15. I think I saw that corn as zero or the cherries. Oh, the corn was four. For some reason, cherries doesn't have a name. So I can't seem to toggle the price on it. I know I'm not the only one who's noticed that. But it's still interesting. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do a roll. Alright, that leaves us with... Another research desk. Works for me. This one is completely free. I would buy it, but I have no guarantee that buying it would give me a duplicate. Uh, and I'd, I'd rather have a blueprint to put in the desk. So we'll see if we can get some blueprint desk up in here and keep rolling. Potatoes. Bread. Oil in the sink. I can get that all in. Get the preparation time. While that bread is cooking, I'll be up here. We got a copying desk again. They want broccoli cheddar soup. Okay. I guess I could have brought the cheese on the way, way down. My eyes were already still searching for it. The mess is real though. Portion of soup. I know I have a portioner right down below, but with all these messes, I just didn't want to get stuck on them. So if he wants another soup, I have not started another stock. He does. Of course he does. I'll go ahead and use the same base. And just throw away the other two portions. Cook a little bit faster. Yep. Messy one pot of soup there. There you are. Go ahead and get rid of that. Start another one. Alright, what's the damage? Broccoli with spiny fish.
There you are. And I guess he's done for the day. No desserts yet again. Seems like they don't really care for desserts. Early run. Alright, so again, now that I have all the recipes, it's only going to give me... Challenge cards. These purple cards here. Personally, it's waiting. Seems like it would suck, but if you give it a couple seconds to take the order and make up the mind if they want to change it or not, it might not. The 20% less patience, that would be the kicker. I I don't know if I could serve in time with less patience. Especially if someone is waiting for a table for any reason. Yeah. Right. Uh, trainers would be nice, but they track messes, so if I had a scrubbing brush, it would be better. I'll go ahead and buy them for now. Put them aside and hopefully get a, a mop or a scrubbing brush of some sort. And what did you give me? I was hoping for a scrubbing brush. Nothing else I really see out there. See, the hob, the little red dot, means like, it's too expensive. So this hob is now 90, when a starter hob is 20. That's supplier error right there. Some things can be free or for four coin, and some can just be downright expensive. Right, next day. Back. Potatoes. You know the drill. Question is, do I know the drill? I'll go ahead and call the door. <laughs> Got caught on the door. Call through prep time. Do the upgrade. And hopefully not get another. Alright, so he wants meat soup. I'm running with meat soup. You want broccoli cheddar. See that? That's the kick right there. What they want, and if it does change shortly after ordering it, so I think it only changed one time. Basically, if you get it, give it an extra couple seconds, it should be just fine. The messes are real, though. Oh. Yep. There you are. I'll throw one away. If you need the other one, it'll be there. You want a new soup? It's there. Throw this on the mixer so I don't have to deal with it. Alright, so he wants a wine sauce, rare flank, and corn on the cob. Wine sauce. Grabs crab. Wine sauce. Flank steak. That's a rare... These take a minute to get there, but once they've hit rare, they go quickly, so I wanted to hover that one. Corn on the cob. And with toppings, so that's tomato and mushroom toppings. Have a sauce and go for it. Well, I wanted. All right. Okay. <laughs> Blueprint Tasker 45. 
I'd like to get a blueprint desk. I'm also considering having that rotate through to discount desk. How much is this hobbit? Four. I'll take it. And it gave me another one. So I can replace my two starter hobs now. And it gave me another one. Sharp knife. And what else did you want to drop there? Gas limiter. Okay. Uh, sharp knife could help. How much is it? Oh. Four. Perfect. A lot of sneakers and a sharp knife. Sounds like a typical dangerous combination. So we'll get rid of these starter hobs. Or the regular hobs will cook a little bit faster. Now getting a danger hob would be nice, but with the oven, I may not need it. I think we'll go ahead and buy that blueprint desk for now. All right. So, hi guys, whoever just came in. notification that someone did feel free to say hi um i've been on this run for a minute i've been playing this game since october it's been a wild ride lots of fun go ahead and put this out here questionably somewhere <laughs> in the kitchen mm. That in front of, and I'll swap these two. So I can hit that as a corner hit from either side of that. Should be okay. This hob is still four dollars. Might as well buy one more as for a backup in case, and a portioner for forty-five. Nope. We've got a blueprint cabinet. Um, a blueprint desk in the blueprint cabinet. There we go. Words. Bought the first one. I think I'm going to run, run that one through to a discount desk. And then feed it back, essentially. Got corn. Giving me a little less time to do my bread now that it's a classic hop. All through preparation time. Keep an eye on that bread. Should be about ready to bread. Great now. Aha! Sharp cutlery. Not. Oh, that's mushroom. Not necessary in this same one. Extra mustard, don't need that. Looking for a prep station. Frozen prep station would be nice. Do you want another tomato soup? I get you something else. All right, we want a rare bone-in steak with the side of the corn on the cob. Oh, just kidding. That's not what we want. We apparently want olives all of a sudden, or oysters. Ah, I see my fault here. So 
the long run foresters. Go ahead and call the last head in. Ordering terminal. I don't really need that. That is cheese. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I kind of already forgot that they could change their minds. I was like, oh, that's the order, let's move it. All right then, have a good day, I guess. Pleasure vid visiting Hell's Kitchen. Take care. I'd love to see Gordon Ramsay actually play this game. Don't know if he's much of a gamer. I know he's on TikTok. All right. Let's see if any of these are super cheap. Neon sign is. Couple machine is. And some of these are just discounted. But the bin, the bin is worth so much, and it's completely free. <laughs> Another one. Good. Floor buffer. Danger hub. Hey, what's how much? Four bucks? I'll take it. <sighs> Alright, I just need three. I don't need any more than that. Wash basin, pot stack. I know I haven't used them yet, but I'm looking for floor protectors to be able to use them a bit more freely. Okay. And we saw something else that was fairly cheap. Uh, not that floor sign, this sign. Was fairly cheap. Ketchup and mustard doesn't really count as table consumables. But hey. It's something. Um, rolling pin. Uh. For 90. No thanks. And eggs. In honor of a friend, we're gonna throw our gumbo machine in here. Now, there's no serving phase on that last tier, which is not something that I aim for. I just aim to get those six. And I'm good from there. Question being, do I want to replace the hobs right now with danger hobs, or are we going to be okay without them? I think I'll go ahead and replace the counter over here with the danger hub. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll have to be careful about corn on that one. We could do that. We push these all kind of in. Would that help us at all? Sure. Put the plates on that side. Okay. And put it like that. That'd be okay. Sure. Um, I'd like to have that accessible from the other side, though. Yeah, we'll just create a bit of an island situation going on in here. So that way, if we do throw corn on the danger hub and it portions off of, it will 
it won't burn. Otherwise, we'll put soups there. So, just do it like that. Looks good enough. Got some corner grabs. Situations going on. We'll be okay. Might as well throw some dark floor down on the floor. And I'll give him a nice green wallpaper. Make it nice and gloomy. <laughs> Uh, sure. This wallpaper, this tile, blue, reminds me of like a pizzeria. Not like a Freddy Fazbear's except blue. It's just a bit obnoxious. <laughs> Alright. Day six. And off we go. We'll start with soup there. We'll wait for whatever soup they decide on. Keep the potatoes in there, and we will put the bread on the top. Forgot to get the discount desk out, so I'm not doing any upgrades today. Pumpkin soup. Broccoli cheddar soup. Make up your mind, soups. Bring the bread up here. There you go. Throw one away, make a new stop. Pumpkin seeds. And be done. You can throw that one away now too. All right. What else you got? Two flour. It's a mushroom pie. Mushrooms are up top. Okay. Whoop! Oh, the right that burns so quickly. Oh, that was a whoops. Alright, let's put the motion pie in there then. Onions. Onto the mixer. Okay. Put that on a regular hop. Be able to see it a little bit better. And there you are. Have a lovely day. Hey, new challenge. More customers? I think I'm ready for it. <laughs> uh, increased mass creative customers. I could take that and not really worry about it because, um, the customers are far enough away that it, again, doesn't bother me at all. But I think we're ready to see some more customers. Now we've got two groups. All right. <laughs> we're going to let this day progress as it would normally. And we're going to keep an eye out for a conveyor upgrade. But for now, we're going to buy this discount desk. We're looking for a conveyor and a blueprint cabinet on this. I rang it twice, so it automatically gave us meat. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I love how the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two is kind of figuring out what to do. It doesn't guarantee one or two. 
I have so many cards that are affecting it down by 15%, and only two cards are affecting it up by 30%. This is the second time that I've got advertising though, so technically it's 25% again and 25% again, so it's it can't figure out what the hell it's doing. <laughs> Alright. Day 7, we're not going to call anybody in. We're going to let them come naturally so that hopefully we won't get in a bind and have to wait for one customer to leave before the other one decides. Floor protectors would be nice, it's a good idea, but I really could use a conveyor or or some blueprint cabinets. Sink. Another reason we're not calling anybody in today. We want to see what it actually has to offer. Alright. That's the first customer. You want carrot soup, but is that what you really want? I'm picking up a carrot. I'm putting carrot in carrot soup. Told ya. Meat soup. That is... Yep. Meat soup. There's another research desk. I am not concerned about it. There's one. One for spare. In case the next customer wants some meat soup in the end. Pizza. We're gonna be a pizza day, huh? Okay. Got it. There. It is a just a cheese of pizza. As a conveyor. Okay. Now that we've got that in, we'll go ahead and call the other customer in and hope they don't get dessert, essentially. We'll see if we actually do get two, or if it still hasn't quite figured out if it wanted to do one or two. Kinda hope it did two because I haven't done this. Nope. Bugger, I was banking on two. That's okay. As long as that's cheap enough, I probably will just buy this flat out. So today it looks like our guaranteed group is going to be two. We'll see. But it seems like... Just doing one then? I'll go ahead and get conveyors. So that... Once they're upgraded, I can serve two tables instead of having one wait. Or at the very least... Yeah, I'll, I'll figure out a way to serve two tables. I haven't decided how yet. But figure out a way. We will. It will happen. So. Now we're looking for a blueprint cabinet. And a prep station. Okay. Another portioner. Not really what we need. That bread should be about done. I know I haven't discounted it yet, but I'm not going to forget about it. We have a breadboard. Are you sure? You sure? You sure? You sure? Nope. Just 
ask them if they're sure enough. I guess now sharp cutlery wouldn't be such a bad idea. Trying to get the customers in and out. Now we want a broccoli cheddar soup. But are you sure though? Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, okay. Power pot, like that. That is a nut loaf. And we're gonna put that on the danger hob. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Are you going to portion it or are you just going to let it burn? You're just going to let it burn. Of course you are. Why can't you portion nut loaf? It has to be portioned anyway, right? Well, oh, bugger. Alright, let's try that again. I figured it would portion right off the hob, but I guess it doesn't. We're gonna give him his corn and hope we can save it. I see you. There you are. Alright. That was a close call. Next customer. You want pumpkin soup, but are you sure? Nope. Not sure. Not pumpkin seeds. There you are. Go ahead and clear this out. Pumpkin soup, are you sure? Don't want broccoli cheddar now after that. <laughs> after I just threw away the other serving. Of course you want pumpkin soup. You had the lovely seeds and now I threw away the pulp. You want the actual soup. Okay. Drop the bag. I'm gonna hop. Alright. We want wine sauce. See a rare steak, wine sauce, and baked potato with a topping of mushroom. There you go. And day eight. Had a little situation there, but we're okay. Didn't even use the heart. How much is this floor protector? 90, no thank you. <laughs> No thanks. Alright. 23? Gladly. Now that's got that... ...taken care of. If I could actually scoot this down... This entire setup 
down and have one table there. I could have the other table on the other side, I believe. Might be playing a bit of a dangerous game here, but we're going to try this. We're going to try. Okay. So we'll just keep these... Candy. Mm. I had the table this way. I could use the conveyor to serve that table. it like this for now. We'll figure up a better plan for it soon. I'm going to upgrade that grabber again. And this will be the way for the moment. Change these dishes around. I, mean, I don't technically have to bus. I could just let the dishes pile up, but if for any reason one decides to have four courses and use four dishes, that could stop the other customer from having dishes. <laughs> Alright. We'll eventually get some more tables, and we'll put the ketchup and mustard back in the middle. So I guess I'm looking for dining tables. And prep station. Dining tables and prep station. There's another conveyor. Mat. We're not gonna call anybody in because we're just not gonna bother with the uh, call for it yet. That's a smart grabber. What we want is corner grabbers. But we do want eventually. I will be buying a smart grabber, but I will take corner grabbers. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Do you want bread? Bread on a plate? This is your two second warning. One, two, okay. There you are. Don't need dish rack. All right, so we are doing a salad. <laughs> I'm Glad he changed his order because I would about to move that on the hob. Okay. That's a salad with olives. It's basically just lettuce and olives with broccoli. Olives. Broccoli. Get your green ends, my guy. That's that's a whoops. I'll go ahead and do the call now. I still can't. Mm. It will end the day. Oh, well, not end end the day, but it will stop the blueprint desk from going around. I think I'd rather keep looking out for dining table or prep station. So it does make some of these days kind of long. In a soup. You sure? Ha <laughs> ha He wasn't sure enough. 
coffee machine. No, we don't need any more of those. I know some people are like, automate coffee, but have you seen anybody order coffee in the 90s? Cutlery, though. That I'll take. Alright, crab cake. I appreciate you ordering something that I already have, as in broccoli. Back an egg. Flour. Place. <laughs> there we go. Temporary lapse there. Crab cakes and broccoli. There you are, sir. Can you please order dessert? Nobody's ordered dessert. Will you be the first? Nope. Not pizza now. Okay. And onion rings. Got it. I wish you could portion from the oven, but you can't. Doesn't seem like you could portion from the microwave or the oven, so... It is what it is. Alright, so that's day 9 complete. Two customers. Simplicity or splash zone? Mmm... <laughs> Simplicity isn't so bad. We only have one blueprint table, and we're just making it through the run. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna, how far I'm gonna make it with a hundred plus cards. So, simplicity. I don't like it, but it is what it is. All right. We will buy the smart grabber. Excuse me for muting this sneeze. <laughs> Didn't want that to be really loud in the, anybody's ears. Alright, we have a dining table for 188. You know, the lovely little number. Sharp cutlery. No, it's not modded. It is literally... It, it's one of the franchise cards. <laughs> it's not modded, I swear. Now... Where to put this guy? I could put him literally right here. I don't want Boy carrots. This is the strange things that are happening with all of <laughs> these uh, things duplicating. All of these are franchise cards for different reasons, for different runs of the same game. I've just slowly got more franchise cards, and it'll cause it to buy it again, to duplicate it, dumb waiter for zero, and some things, research desk before, so things like that would be quite literally looking for a dining table. I don't need one. But a buffer for free. That I will take. Okay. So it gives some things for free, some things for 45 um, as discounted for one of the franchise cards, and some things are just completely bonkers on the price. You start there. We get another one for free. Really nice. Really nice of them, isn't it? We'll put them on the sides of the oven. Hopefully limiting the hobs. Is that scrubbing brush that I was talking about? Okay. Okay. 
and it gave me apples. Um, first it gives me a discovering brush on the same realm that it gives me a robot buffer for free. <laughs> so I think we'll just go with sneakers and buffer and hopefully not track. Sneakers. Knife. And again, it hopefully won't track. So I know they will stack. There's our stock. There's our potatoes. I know we only have two customers, but with closing time being as a possible thing, we could have more than the two. So I'm trying to get them in and out as quick as possible. Add on the mixer. We'll throw the wine, or the oil, not wine. Oil up that way. All right, so they're gonna shut their order. He wants toast. I'm gonna make sure he decides he wants toast. Oh, the bread, the bread, the bread, the bread, the bread, the bread, the bread. See, he wants broccoli cheddar soup. I was looking at his order and I was not paying attention to what was happening on the hop there. Oui. So slippery. All right. Broccoli cheddar soup. You want a hot dog and corn? Are you sure about that? So I'll gladly make you a hot dog and corn, but if that, that's not what you want, that is what you want. Okay. So he's decided that he wants hot dog and corn. Hot dog. Oh. Hi. All right, well, that looks like a bot. <laughs> Just got a message in chat. But I can't seem to place it, so. All right. Yeah, I am going to be posting this to YouTube, but for now, I'm still streaming on Twitch. That's potato salad. Please change your mind about that potato salad. Please change your mind. You're not going to change your mind? Okay. Alright. Potato salad then. Get a new stock on. Or whatever he decides he wants. Crack the egg. Add the oil. Wait. We're gonna get his meat soup started, and then we're gonna throw some fries on the mixer and get those rolling. Okay, potato salad with fries. But you didn't change your mind, sir. That's what you get. Now you want a veggie pie with baked potato, okay? We're gonna make the run around. By this time we'll have that done. Yep, figured. On the, on the hop. Veggie pie, baked potato. Have a nice day, folks. That's day 10. Okay, so we're already on day 11, which today's a decoration day. Looks like we got olives from our uh, blueprint desk. So two of these would probably be olives. Yep. Now, calm painting is not a bad idea here. We don't have it. All right. Home painting. There's one, but it's the fancy price of 188. 
Uh, yes. 15, I'll take it. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Made this place down. For four dollars? Sure. Like, I don't know what to really display on it at the moment, but... Four for dollars? Four dollars? Okay. We'll just get a couple. One in the corner there. Oop, bubble gum over. Alright, that's all that we need on those. Or buffer and beans. How much are our corner grabbers? They are 23. Perfect. Grab one, make a copy. We're only copying and discounting today. We're not upgrading that conveyor anymore. All right. <laughs> We still desperately need dining table on here to expand our tables out to kind of have room for the conveyors. Um, I'm not getting metal tables because they they decrease patience so much. So that would be my reasoning of <laughs> well, not. There's too many things on this menu to have a decreased patience. All right, watch that bread for me, guys. Scream if it pops. <laughs> Just kidding, I got my eyes on it. Ugh, but I don't have my eyes on discount table. There it goes. Grab, grab, run. Alright. Having those buffers near the hobs, great in theory, uh, they're able to actually try and run around it. Alright, do you actually want potato soup? I will make you potato soup if that's what you want. Seem like you do. Yep. Freezer could be okay. But I really need a dining table. I need to buy it as a blueprint so that it can hopefully copy as a blueprint as well. We'll save that one in case you want the same thing. You want carrot soup. Are you sure about it? Are you sure about the carrot soup? Because I'm going to throw away the pumpkin soup. Not tomato soup. Either way, throwing away that one. Tomato soup. Got to add... Yes, silver boy, yes, sir. Wax, don't need wax. Oh, I am all over the place with these shoes and <laughs> buff floors. Crab cake. You sure? Give you a moment to think about it. Okay, for sure. You got it, my guy. Up, 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 up. Cupcake. No sides, just crab cake. Oh, don't add oil. Right. Just egg and battered and fried. Got it. There you are. New customer, new stock. Broccoli cheddar soup. We'll see. We'll see about that. <laughs> supplies. Don't need supplies. Carrot soup. Oven. Don't need oven. Ah, 
Okay, okay. You want toast with an egg and mashed potatoes. Done. Luckily, we make this beautiful piece of loaf. Now, the weird thing about the eggs, like the toppings you can put on the plate before, but the egg must go on top. You put mushroom and tomato on toppings, like you would on toast or steak, they can go on the plate. But egg absolutely has to go on top. Same thing with beans. Uh, yet, you can put the wine sauce or the mushroom sauce for steak underneath the steak. <laughs> Make it make sense. Now, please don't take away the fact that you can put mushroom sauce or wine sauce underneath the steak. I quite like that. It helps you combine quicker. I'm cool with that. It... <laughs> Still have groups of two. Until we have groups of three, it still seems the better reasoning of having tables like they are. Yeah. Conveyor. I'll start in here. Well, no, I'll start by the superstition. Yeah. Great. Broth. Potatoes. Those are like the two guarantees I am making every day. Not that uh, people order them every day, but just because stock is needed for just about every other thing in this game. This particular run. Potatoes take long enough. Don't have to worry about it. And bread can be used for breakfast or the starter. So it's good to have that one early. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm running with my knife on very slippery floors. Sounds like a great plan, right? Carrot soup. Are you sure about that? Not broccoli cheddar. They can change their order, which is a challenge when you have all of the recipes. But as you can see, I'm only serving two customers a day. So it's not so bad of a challenge. Just a little rough when they come in at the same time. Alright, so that is a stir fry with meat. Oh my goodness. Got in there for now. Got caught on the floors. I feel like I'm kind of sliding all over the place. I mean, yes, it helps you run faster, but is running faster really better if you don't have the accuracy? Scrubbing brush, don't need those. Alright, so that's a bone in. I forgot your silverware, buddy. That's okay. You'll forgive me, right? What soup do you want? And are you sure about it? Alright, well, if you're sure about broccoli cheddar, you're in luck, buddy. Quick chop. I pasted the tomato before. Tomato soup. He said that, and then he saw me throw away the marinara sauce, and then he's like, Yeah, I'll have some of that sauce. It's fine. 
We're good. Sliding everywhere. Okay. Knife down, bag of trash up. Burn away. There you are. Potatoes, salad, and fries. Are you sure? Of course, they're always sure on the recipes that are pain. Huh? That's not so bad. Alright. So, potato water. Ah, oh, crap. Yep. Try it again. Water. Check. Potato. Chopping. Oh, we got another customer. And apparently he wants meat soup. Pumpkin soup. Alright. I know, buddy. There you are. Pumpkin. Alright. <sighs> Pumpkin. I don't see a sauce on that, but I'm still wary of it. Is that what you really want? Okay. Medium. I gotta be quick on the tomato. It's a rabbit mixer. All right. Give a moment to think about that, just to be extra safe. Plus, I gotta wash dishes now. Okay, so he hasn't changed his mind. He definitely wants a hot dog. And some crow. I'm eating all over the place. Corn on the cob. Like I said, I don't know if buffer... It does help you move so much faster, but when you're in a place where you have to run, it's nice for the speed, but the accuracy, though, it's tricky. Like I've tried to put the ingredients in here and I've just slid right past it. Alright. <laughs> so, I don't want to do less patience, but lunch rush could also be very bad. We're so close to the end, so I think we're just going to do less patience. No. Oh, that's rough. Either way, this is going to be a kill card. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to 15 again. Because less patience when you have two customers and you're trying to balance whatever they could order and change. Yeah. We'll do lunch rush. I, either way, it's it's a kill shot. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's going to be the end of this, likely. 
Either way, it's it's the end. Just have to make it through two more days. And that will be guaranteed to have well, it will have indeed a hundred cards on it. I was hoping it would give me another table. Alright. Well, you take this one. I really need another table here so that could connect just fine. Because I want to have this between them. Really. Could do it like that. I think. Have him have the two tables like that, right? But this one expanded. Sure. Now it's only one customer. So the idea is that I should be able to serve a dish. Like that, right? But how to receive dishes back? Nobody's going to be using these two chairs. They're just going to be using the ones on the end, right? And that's just going to go back to a wall. So if I put it right there, it should serve him just as fine, but it pulled dishes back to the kitchen. Yeah, that could work. Should, theory. But also, ketchup and uh, mustard will be automated. I don't have to worry about it. They'll just go onto the tracks with each other this table. All right. Mm. I bought the display tables and I keep forgetting to use them. So we may have four groups and we may have three groups. It looks like is what I'm, I'm reading that as. Well, there's that prep station that I've been wanting. I cannot take more than two tables orders at one time. So we're just going to go ahead and buy these. To get hot dogs. Hold on to those for a minute. Oh boy. Okay, so I have one chance to fail per day for reincarnation. After that, I, uh, yeah. After that, the heart will give out. If I fail one time and that heart, extra life is used, at the end of the day, it will regenerate. But if I fail twice, the run is over and I could not get 100 cards. Now, starting this run, I had 97 cards. So technically, at this part of the day, I already have 100 cards. But I'm so curious to see it franchise again and get the last franchise card. I am missing only one, and that is the card that's for conveyors. So, in two more days, we just gotta survive those two more days. And hopefully make it out all right. I'm gonna try without the sneakers this time. I don't know if they've been really helping me, but the floor buff is also super helpful. So 
I will keep the knife. This might be a really bad idea because they're going to come in in the middle of lunch and I have to get them out quickly. So I do have to use sharp cutlery, but they have a chance of having basically four courses. Oh, that one doesn't go on. Shoot. And they can change their order. So he just changed his order. He definitely wants broccoli cheddar soup now. Those potatoes out of here. Alright. Broccoli cheddar. There you go. You want it again? Pumpkin. Are you sure? You sure? Okay. I will keep the other one in case another customer orders it at this point. can't chop from there, the only portion. Okay. They haven't even got the first customer out the door yet. Keep calm. Hold your on. Keep backups. In case. Alright, are you sure about that? I hope you're sure about that. Okay. There's a two oysters, of course. He wants pumpkin soup, which I can get done. I'm gonna serve this, take the pumpkin soup from the bottom. And give it to him. Yep. Okay. He also wants pumpkin soup. And neither one of these are changing. Okay. We're not doing any flowers today. We're just making it through. Now you want pumpkin soup, you want a burger, which is cut steak and a egg. that. I just need a potato for him. Get pumpkin soup guy. Oh. Okay. Wants meat soup. Okay. We're doing okay. We just focus one at a time. Other guy is done. Now we still have closing time, so there's still a chance that somebody else could come in and make an appearance, essentially. Speak of that. Mm-hmm. Alright, we'll have meat soup down there. You want carrot soup. Of course you want the something that I don't have. Alright, you want broccoli... Carrot soup coming up. It's apple. Oh, you changed it to seeds. Okay. Get the seeds. And then we gotta get it, the big steak thing in the oven pronto. 
bone ends or not the bone end steak, but the thick cut steak. That's a rare, that's a medium. We're at a well done. All right, so that just needs a tomato on it. Okay, yep, I see you, I see you. All right, so we need not an oyster. These robo dogs are really getting away from me here. Classic steak. Well done. A chopped tomato. And a We're just gonna throw the remnants in the oven. The husk remnants, whatever. Oof. Hey, that's 13. I didn't copy it! Man. At least it got upgraded. And discounted. Ow, that was rough. All right. So this is day 14. It's getting rough. Getting a little nervous now. <laughs> it always seems to get rough at day 14. <laughs> it really does. Uh, I don't need any of that. I want to keep the prep station. I'm going to go ahead and do a roll. Now, if I had rubber mops, they would just keep the mess away. Hmm, I don't think I need a dishwasher. But for four bucks and it washes dishes for me? Sure. We'll replace the dish rack. Or the wash basin. With a mop. Alright, don't need the mop. Okay! Oh, goodness. I think I'm starting to reconsider my stance on those flower pots. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this hurts. This hurts. Okay. Stock. Potatoes. Should have taken that freezer and just put potatoes in a freezer. Yet I completely forgot about it. Discount. Okay. Copy it this time, please. I mean, I'm really just hoping to get through the 15. Alright. Drop that for me while we get our soups started. Get for you pumpkin soup. Are you sure? I knew it. <laughs> Give me the thing. Okay. All right. We're hoping for if he orders a soup, whatever soup he orders, I am putting on the display stand. Okay, then we're putting pumpkin on the display stand.
hot dog, corn on the cob. Please don't change your order, that's a simple order. Please don't change your mind on that. No! Crash is there. He chose the right answer at first, then he decided on a breadboard. I've got to get this guy's order out. Burn. Can't afford to burn anything else. Okay. Breadboard. Tomato soup. Take pumpkin. So one's on mains and the other's on appetizer. Meat pie. I do that. That'll cook up a crust for or get ready a crust for me. Trying to get this guy out the door. Working on pacing customers. Okay. Yep. I had a feeling that was going to happen, so I wanted to get him out as quick as possible. Pumpkin soup. Don't change your mind. Carrot soup for you. Ooh, I need turkey. Oh, I left my knife over there. That's okay. I was trying to burn the garbage. Carrot soup. Grab knife, put turkey down. Egg fries. Give me a plate, please. There go. Turkey and fries. You want a hot dog and mush or baked potato? Okay. No problem. There you are. Whoa, slide. Oh, that's the end of it. All right, that's 14. <laughs> One more day. One more day. All right. <sighs> So we're going to move this up in the corner here. We're going to put this between these two here, and we're going to grab one of those for soups. Mm -hmm. There. We'll start putting soups out here. Mm, I could probably find a better home for olives. But for now, we will just continue to keep a soup out here. Alright. 
Terrifying, right? <laughs> Got the pacing. We could use another coffee table. Do I, I could re-roll for 80 for a coffee table. They're supposed to be offered regularly, so there's a chance... I say, as I roll again. Alright, it's not happening then. I want to keep getting frozen preparations for soup, because once they're made, I just hate throwing them out. I mean, it's not the worst, I just hate to do it. So. Yikes. Mic check. check. I don't know if you guys heard that buzzing sound. If you did, I really am sorry. I just noticed it. Okay. Lucky day 15? Anyone? Uh... I know you can set the corner grabbers during the day, so I wonder if I put a silverware on here, will it work? We're gonna try that real quick. I just don't have to run out there to keep replacing silverware. And we're gonna rotate this one that way. Okay. Should grab it might continue to grab Ooh yeah actually I need a smart grabber back there. So it will only grab silverware, it won't grab anything else. Alright, we're gonna hit practice mode one more time. Just to make sure. I'm not cooking anything, I'm just checking this. Okay, so it does serve them. Cool. That's set to silver now. And those plates will come this way. So as long as it's a dirty plate and not silverware. Right? I think that's how it works. Well, cheers to day 15. Those started up here. Nervous. Life, please. All right. Carrot soup, are you sure? Because whatever you pick to start off the day is what we are displaying.
good. You want another carrot soup. We're going to display carrot soup and we're going to make put the other two in the freezer. That's not loaf, okay. Onion ring. There you are. There you are. Hope he changes his mind to carrot soup. Dang it. Okay. I appreciate you making your other order a little easier for me, though. Meat soup guy ordered first, so I'm taking his first. Oh, some fries, put the crab in there. Chop it. There we go. I know, I see you. I see you. A lettuce salad with mashed potatoes. Interesting combination. you are. Also broccoli. Okay. Oh. My dear. That's turkey. There we go. Go to them there. Broccoli. On the hob. Oh no, the mess, the mess, the mess, the mess. Okay. Alright. There you are. Get this customer in the door. My goodness. Oh, it's goodness, goodness. I am sliding everywhere. This is panic. This is sheer panic right now. This is absolute madness panic. <gasps> Why can't you up? This is it. This is the end. This is the end for me.
Panic! The onion? <laughs> oh my goodness! Put in the... Goodness. Alright, well, this has been fun, guys. Absolute mayhem. <gasps> I can't believe I made that. I cannot believe I made that. Of course you want a potato salad. Because why would why would you want something easy? I'm just going to have to deal with this corner being basically off limits. I gotta throw a pot out. You see how much I am sliding all over the place though? That's exactly why I am not a fan of the sneakers and, and floor buffer combination. Really? Alright, well, that's just slowly creeping further. Okay. Well, he's not happy either. And we... We haven't lost the heart yet, though. In any of these days, we haven't lost it. Oh, that this is stressful. This is so stressful. Fish fillet with onion rings. Okie dokie. Is that what you really want, though? I mean, I'll do it if that's what you really want. Just don't want you to change your mind. No, okay. Oh, I need a plate. Run the dishes. Really. Slid right past that. Like I said, it's great when you go can go fast, but if you have quite no option. Sometimes you just might not have the option. I will hand deliver your onion ring, sir. Scalding onion rings, there you go. Fresh, fresh, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> that's it and that's all she wrote now here's the question will it actually display two franchise cards or will it just offer me conveyors this is the million dollar question right here it just offers conveyors <laughs> so what happens after this. I guess we'll find out next time. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I bet I could do this on another run and still get challenge cards. But that is all. That is every single one of the yellow aka franchise cards. That's all of them. This run's completed. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. And it's been a heck of a ride. I might see if I can recruit a friend to uh, help me out the next time through. But this time, we've achieved our goal. We're just going to go ahead and abandon it. And we're not losing the progress. We've already franchised. So we're just going to create the franchise. Do a save power sink and see what cards we can get okay lunch rush was a terrible idea that was sheer panic on the flip side so was personalized waiting so all of these are kind of bad <laughs> in this particular run lunch rush could get rough especially if it starts off on day one Personalized waiting might allow it might allow it a chance to start off with one 
But that is it, uh, just to show and to prove. If we go back to Hell's Kitchen, there is 101 cards. Right there. You can see it right above the little A. So, all that's 101 cards. That's now A tier 24. Wow, that's exciting. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, and see you next time.